Hi, welcome to Jimmy's Records and Tapes. I'm Jimmy Pardo. This week we're talking about my five favorite Christmas songs. We've got it on vinyl, CD and cassette. We've got pop rock, heavy metal, punk, funk, rap and new wave. All sales are final, but you'll never regret all the music you get at Jimmy's Records and Tapes. It's the most wonderful time. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jimmy's Records and Tapes. As I said earlier, I'm Jimmy Pardo. We're going to be talking about my top five favorite Christmas songs today. Ah, that's the time of the season, huh? You get out there, you make your snowman, you have your snowball fights, right? You hope you don't get any cold in the stocking. Christmas. You had a great, had a, all great Christmases growing up. Uh, there was only one that I ruined. <laughs> as, as if there was... Uh, uh, oh, I bet you part of ruined a bunch. I'm, I'm going. No, no, there's just the one. Don't, don't, don't accuse me of more than that. Uh, and I don't even know if I ruined it. I think uh, maybe I made it better because I eventually left. Uh, maybe they, maybe they, I left, and it was like one of those situations where they kick somebody off a plane and everybody applauds and then uploads it to YouTube. It was. Um, I just moved to L.A. and I got a pilot, a television pilot, uh, uh, called "Looking Up at the Nightly News," which was uh, a, a news program hosted by uh, the late Gary Coleman who you remember from different strokes. And it was looking up at the nightly news, and it was a new, almost like the Daily Show, but we were all uh, uh, short in stature. And so I hosted that, and I came home from Christmas. Uh, for, I went back to Chicago for Christmas one year, and my brother Mike was, was proud and wanted to, uh, to let the family know that I'd been uh, up to you know, getting some good stuff done uh, moving to L.A., and I, ju I just moved here, and I already scored a, a TV pilot. And so Mike said, hey, everybody, Jimmy's got some good news. And I said, uh, oh, yeah, I just uh, I shot a TV pilot with, uh, called Looking Up at the Nightly News with Gary Coleman. And nobody, even better than I, they couldn't wait to make fun of me. It was like, uh, oh, what you talking about, Jim? What you talking about, Jimmy? Oh, what you talking about? Oh, you little guy? What you talking about? It's all that. And just coincidentally, my Aunt Pat hosted a, uh, a cable access TV show uh, called Chat with Pat. So people kept on going, uh, hey, uh, you ever do your Aunt Pat show? That's a show you should get on, Jim. You ever do that? You ever do Chat with Pat? You should go on Chat with Pat. That's a real credit. And I just lost. I couldn't believe it. I, I literally took my table, uh, not my table, it was the, the table, and I shook it and I went, I go, Chat with Pat is nothing! And I did it enough so that my plate kind of uh, jostled and, and, and silverware went all over the place. And I then grabbed my coat and left. Uh, so I ruined Christmas on that day. But that doesn't mean... Uh, and maybe I'm about to ruin some of your Christmases by my, the five choices that I have here for my five favorite Christmas songs. Uh, number one is a song called Aspen Glow by John Denver. Uh, this actually was first on his Take Me to Tomorrow album. Uh, I first heard it on the John Denver Christmas album. Uh, which, it's not a traditional Christmas song. Uh, it's about the, what they call the Aspen Glow uh, on the Rocky Mountains. Uh, boy, John Denver loved talking about those mountains, didn't he? You know, I, I bet you if you looked into every single song John Denver ever recorded, in some way, it's got something to do with those Rocky Mountains. Anyway, Aspen Glow, number five, a beautiful song. Uh, one that could bring you to tears. That's not going to shock anybody. Speaking of uh, uh, driven to tears, number four, Wham's Last Christmas. I love the original. I have not liked a single cover of this song. Uh, no, no thank you. Give me George Michael or give me death. And it hit me right at the right time, too. Uh, 85, maybe late 84. Uh, this song came out. Uh, what a, a beautiful song that, uh, yeah, you know, if you're having some relationship trouble, uh, you know, the uh, the sad, uh, the, that's what's weird about this song. The lyrics are sad, but the tune is uplifting. So uh, if you want to be confused on your Christmas, uh, Last Christmas by Wham is your answer. Number three, that's a classic. Here's a classic. Uh, Burl Ives uh, recorded this song. It went all the way to number four on the chart. Uh, Holly Jolly Christmas. Um, it comes from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, uh, stop motion thing at Christmas time, which we all watched. Uh, and I, that, I think that's the one with the abominable snowman uh, that uh, frightened me as a child. And I think I uh, have nostalgia for this song because uh, at least something happy was happening and I didn't have to uh, cry into my mother's bosom. Number two, this is going to be controversial, I think. Um, came out in 1984. Uh, who recorded this? Duran Duran, George Michael, Spandau Ballet, Paul Young, Sting, Bananarama. They were all there for Do They Know It's Christmas. I, this is one of those ones where I recognize it's not a great song, but I love it. I love the hell out of it. So much so that it's number two. Is that okay for me to say I love the hell out of it when I'm talking about Christmas songs? 
Seems unfair to our Lord Jesus Christ. And number one, my favorite Christmas song of all time. It was recorded by Greg Lake, and it's called I Believe in Father Christmas. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Greg Lake uh, co-wrote this with a guy named Peter Sinfeld, and he claims it wasn't intended as a Christmas song. He claims he wrote it because he was sick of the commercialization of Christmas. But Sinfeld, who wrote the lyrics, said it's about a loss of innocence and childhood beliefs. And that's the version I prefer to think of when I listen to this song. Again, this will not surprise anybody. I, I tear up when I hear this thing. And the best version of this is, it, and it's beautifully shot, it's in a church, I want to say on Christmas Eve, and it's Greg Lake and his son, and then from Jethro Tull, Ian Anderson on flute. And he stays on both feet, and he play and he plays a, 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 the flute nicely over this song. Uh, so I would recommend uh, uh, checking that out. Uh, I Believe in Father Christmas by Greg Lake is my favorite Christmas song of all time. Hey guys, it's time for Jimmy's Choice. You, of course, know what this means. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, at Jimmy Pardo, you send me two artists that go head-to-head -head in the cage, and I decide who gets to stay and who gets to uh, uh, you, you go out to the parking lot and suck on a muffler. I don't know who they are until they pop up on my screen, and I have to decide in the moment who gets to stay and who goes. This week, it comes to us from at JQ Batty, at J-Q-B-A-T-T-Y, and he wants me to decide between the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. <laughs> All right, that's fun. Uh, he's got the two orchestras in there. I don't really know why these two would go head-to-head -head except for that, the fun with the words. Uh, it's OMD uh, by a landslide, uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I think I kind of like them on record. I dragged my family to see them live once, and I'm going to say about... 40 minutes in, I looked over, my wife was asleep, and my son, I don't know how he managed to do, uh, do this, he managed to go, uh, he bought a gun and had it to his temple and threatened uh, if, if, uh, that we better leave uh, or something's going to go down, man. Uh, they were bored. I, I was too. I was grateful that the, it was awful. Just so sterilized, right? I mean, I don't deny the musicianship, but so sterile. Uh, so I'm going to go with OMD, uh, which, by the way, fun... Fun story, when, when OMD had that big hit, uh, If You Leave, uh, from Pretty in Pink, uh, people would come into the record store that I worked at and asked for, uh, hey, do you got the new OMD? And we would say, you mean the Ozark Mountain Daredevils? And we thought that was hysterical. Gonna go with Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark for this week's Jimmy's Choice. Thank you so much for joining me this week on Jimmy's Records and Tapes. If you liked it, Clang that bell, baby. Hit the like button. Tell your friends about it. Spread the word amongst the vinyl community. That seems to be a thing people are saying these days. Uh, also, as I mentioned, I'm on Twitter at Jimmy Pardo. You can always go to jimmypardo.com for more information about everything going on in my career. And, of course, I host the award-winning podcast, Never Not Funny. So check that out if that's your bag. Until next time, happy holidays. We'll see you next time. The record is in its sleeve.